Hey guys, I felt like this would be my only time to bring up this drama one last time because it was very interesting and personally I've been fascinated by it. So I'm only going to present the facts because apparently that's all you guys can handle. You cannot handle me having an opinion on anything, but here we go. Facts, Jeremy, Unsleeve Media, The Quarterling, MTG Headquarters, he has decided to leave Magic the Gathering. Uh, he has a video. In the video, he takes a few shots at Wizard of the Coast, of course. But he's gone. Uh, just like Dariums, who was a huge Magic channel back in the day. One of the largest. He went to Pokemon. And he's a lot happier in Pokemon. So on Sleeve Media, the quarterling is going to focus all of his attention on his issues uh i would say political issues maybe uh justice issues i'm not exactly sure how to define what he's doing on his other channel but he's saying goodbye to magic the gathering and i wish jeremy the best of luck uh, it is sad to see one of the original magic youtubers back in the day uh, say goodbye but it had to be done now that happened less than 18 hours ago uh, two hours ago, Christine Sprankles has decided to come back to cosplaying. Why this is important is because Jeremy got banned from life because of a altercation with Christine Sprankles online. There was not a physical altercation. There was not um, a immediate danger altercation to Christine's life. It was more or less uh, online harassment. Kotaku wrote a very good article. Um, you might say Kotaku is biased, but of course. But that doesn't mean the article is not worth reading. So Christine Sprankle, the most popular cosplayer, is coming back. And that's the beauty with this community is that any time you can return and people will generally accept that you returned. Now, of course, when Alex Pacini returns, we have to kind of be curious as why he's returning. But I welcome Christine back with open arms and say, hey, we have one more female cosplayer, one, one better. It is interesting, the timing on the situation. It's almost like the witch is dead. The witch is dead. We can all now celebrate that the witch is dead. And... It is sad to see Jeremy go, but I think he has. He didn't love Magic anymore. He wasn't playing it anymore. He couldn't play it anymore. Now, Christine Sprankles, I don't think she ever stopped loving Magic. It just wasn't the time for her to come back. Now she's back. And she won. I know a lot of you are going to dislike this video, but the facts are the facts. She outlasted. And the new Magic community will be heavily based on Christine and not based on MTG headquarters. Do I agree with that? No. I think having a balance is good, but that's what happens when you lean towards the left. You should not be surprised when everyone on the left, all your spot, all your, the people being promoted and getting preview cards and favors and all types of goodies are on the left. So, goodbye on Sleeve Media. I'm going to miss you. I did meet him in person one time. And we had late dinner at a Denny's. I guess a late night snack at the Denny's. In Houston. And I'm glad that we were able to talk real stuff at that point in time. And welcome back, Christine Sprankles. I look forward to seeing more of her cosplay. I think she has very good choice in Lilies and Avacins and... Basically, the cosplayers, the cosplays I'm interested in. Anyway, bye guys.